at Pisces. We're going to just jump into a quick reading. I wasn't going to do this today, but I feel the need to do something I don't want to do. So that could be an energy that's going to be coming in, whether that's for you or the person we're bringing in. The passion and the chemistry between us is so intense. Okay, so there's an intense connection here. All right. This could be someone who feels like being around you is healing for them. So let's see the energy coming in. How does this person feel for you? Give me just a few cards. Feeling like they want a change. They want a shift. Someone here is ready for something different in your relationship. Whether it's fully going in or saying, hey, I'm ready to move in together. Hey, I'm ready for us to to change, to evolve. Let's do this. For some of you, this is someone that you classify as a stalemate or someone that you felt was stagnant. Could be someone who's changing their perspective. This could be someone you're dating where you can tell, okay, you have fears. I know that you have fears. I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be compassionate. I'm trying to be understanding, but I feel like you're starting to be very stuck or stagnant and I don't want to hold me back from what I want in my life because you might not be ready for it. If that's the case for some of you, someone here is like, oh no, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, there's a lot of overanalyzing with whoever this is. So, this person could have felt things, but then they started to overanalyze. I'm scared. I'm worried. I'm stressed. I'm going to lose sleep. I'm going to allow the things that I've been through to haunt me. Instead of allowing this person to look at something and say, okay, I, I conquered that, overcame that. This person looks at things and goes, oh my God, that almost took me down. I don't know if I can go through that again. Instead of looking at it, and being like, whoa, the strength that I have. A lot of you know this, though, with your intuition. So, someone here is ready for new emotional experiences. Someone here is ready, I just heard, bring it on home. To purify this relationship. To shift it in a different form, in a different fashion. Yeah, this could have been someone who at one point didn't see a way to offer love. You know, that's interesting because I've got the Eight of Swords and the Knot of Cups. The Knot of Cups is I want to offer emotion. I want to offer something and I want it to be emotionally satisfying. I want it to be fueled with emotion. This person either didn't do that or they've had a hard time doing that. And you've made them feel so safe and secure that they're like, you know what? This is so intense. I know that I can have something new here. I can have something fresh. I can have something different. I'm ready. Some of you, this person's even changed their perspective over this major change. This could be someone where you started dating them. Both of you had an agreement. We're not going to live together. We're not going to share money. We're not going to do A, B, C, or D. There was limits to this dynamic. And someone here could have changed their perspective that they don't want limits. They want it limitless. That's going to be for some of you, okay? But again, I've got three cards. So out of seven, three of them are swords. That's logical. That's being practical. That's analyzing. That's thinking something through, maybe so much so that you overthink it and then you don't do it. And then we have some of cups as well. So it has everything to do with emotion. Maybe getting emotionally involved or letting you know, hey, I'm ready to wear my emotions on my sleeve. I'm feeling things that I've never felt before. That makes sense, especially if that is what I was saying earlier. Someone here could be at a place where it's like, I'm ready for change. I'm ready for transformation. I'm ready for something different. I want to open myself up. I want to trust you. I want to feel this. I want to wear my heart on, on my sleeve. Now, this could be someone who was taught this. Someone who grew up in a way where it was like, well, don't tell people what you're feeling. Don't tell people what you're thinking. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve. If you show emotion, you're weak. Whoa. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. Do you want to know what I'm saying? 
this could be the one. Some of you could be in a separation with someone who is actually the one for you. There could have been an aspect that could have had to be priority or ended up being a factor. This could have been finances. This could have been an issue that had to be conquered. This could have been a career. This could be someone who had a, a tendency to be very codependent on something light and carefree because it felt safe. And maybe some of you took yourself out of it and was like, okay, enough's enough. And this person could have changed their perspective that not only did they enjoy that, but they want something more. They're feeling things that they've never felt before. And it's kind of haunting them, the choice, the decision. You need to make this choice. You need to make this decision. You need to quit procrastinating. You need to quit putting this off. For some of you, if you're in separation with this person and they have not come back, not called, not did what they needed to do. It was their way of acting like that's what they wanted, but their way of sabotaging. And I think that's gonna be a conversation they're gonna have with you. I feel that you have enough wisdom to know that if this person isn't by your side in the kind of connection you guys have, it has everything to do with them overthinking and overanalyzing when it comes to offering something, okay? And I think you know that this person could have tried to maybe lie to their self or had this perspective of, well, this is what I have to do. This is what's best for me. So much so that they could have been telling their self that because they didn't want to recognize that that was their way of sabotaging it. No, I can't. I'm between a rock and a hard place. I have to do this. This is the right choice. But that could have also been a way for them to lie to their self and not look at it from face value and go, oh my God, it wasn't that I had to do that. It's that I chose to do that, which was my way of sabotaging and saying, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. But what I've won is maybe stress, worry, sleepless nights, feeling haunted, thinking about this, thinking about this, thinking about this, thinking about this. A lot of you, this is someone where it's like something you've never experienced before. Some of you are going to resolve the past with this person. Some of you, there's nothing to resolve. Some of you are just going to overcome whatever the blockage has been. And you're really going to jump into a spiritual relationship. This is beautiful. This is a really good reading. Needing to trust and not overanalyze this person's actions. Don't question them. Tr don't find fault in them either. A lot of you, if this is someone where there's been time apart, distance, separation, a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing, lack of an offer, a stalemate type of energy, a stagnant type of energy, what they're wanting you to know is that all that matters is that change and transformation is coming. All that matters is that this person is wanting to overcome whatever the blockage has been and they're ready to ascend this relationship. Do you want the same thing? If you do get to the place where you want to say, oh, we well, are being suspicious, I don't trust you, and you really start questioning them, I think it's going to take away from the long-term commitment that you can actually have here. Go into this relationship and say, okay, I'm going to trust you until you show me I can't trust you. That's what we're, that's what we're going to do. At least that's what they're wanting you to do here. Because I feel that if you get to a place of constantly questioning every little thing, oh my God, they put their phone down, but they didn't put it down this way. They put it down this way. They're cheating. Oh my God, they walked with their left foot first, not their right foot. My ex did that. That meant that they were cheating. That meant they left the next day. If you are going to overanalyze things, you're going to find suspicious behavior. It doesn't make it suspicious. Maybe they just don't show up in a way that you're familiar with. So be, be aware of that. Because some of you are going to want to maybe try to find a fault in this person or find a way for it to not work out, for it not to be, for this not to be the one, for this to maybe start on a faulty foundation. Again, some of you are like, no, you done made your choice. Nope, 
no, 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 no. You were a stalemate. You were stuck. Not my problem. Not my problem. Not my problem. But maybe there needs to be a conversation around why they were stuck. Why did they feel that they couldn't bring an offer of love? Whether it's, hey, I'm with them and Danielle, I still feel like I'm pulling down a wall. There's emotion that I know they want to share and they don't. Why do they not feel safe? It's not necessarily you. It could be something that they were taught. It could be something that they believe. Every time I've opened up, it's not been safe. So what's the point of opening up this time? You know, it's interesting because this morning, this is reminding me of this scenario that I always give about stray cats. This morning, I had a stray dog at the house. And that's what it's reminding me of. I was petting the dog. I would love, I could hug on the dog. Sweet little baby girl. I'm pretty sure she's a puppy. But as soon as I would try to grab her or get her to where I could bring her to me, like here, she would freak out. She would flip out because she doesn't know that emotion. I fed her, I pet her, I loved on her, and she loved it. She wanted nothing more than to fall in my lap. But there was caution in her eyes. There was worry. Every time I would move just a little bit, I could see the panic in her back up. She was terrified. That's what I'm getting here. Someone here is or was terrified to open up emotionally. But that block is about to be lifted. And I do feel that it is a block. So I'm saying that this is going to turn into um, an unexpected, maybe commitment or an unexpected proposal. A lot of you, you're not going to expect this person to come back and say, hey, I, I want to do this. And when I say I want to do this, I want to do this long term. This person could be scared with I don't want to know. That's what I was about to say. This person could be scared that you're already in a committed relationship. Somebody could be scared that now that they're ready to overcome a block, that you could have went to a new beginning and completely closed the door. This is someone who wants to take their mask off. So this is either a secret admirer or someone that you've had a cycle or cycles with. But I don't feel that it got to a point where it was traumatic. I feel that this person had a mask on. I feel that this person didn't wear their heart on their sleeve. And what did I say? It has everything to do with pain. They're still feeling some sort of pain. Starting to understand your guys' connection. Starting to understand you. But still feeling a pain. And that's what it reminds me of is that dog this morning. And she's been on my mind all day. She has been on my mind all day. I cannot quit thinking about her. That's what I get that this person feels for you. I can't quit thinking about you. You stay on my mind. And you know what's funny is when that dog was leaving, I told her, I was like, are you really leaving? And she just kind of looked at me. And as she would walk away, she would walk a, a, a second and she would turn and look at me. And she would walk a few steps and she would turn and look at me. And I wanted nothing more to get her butt in this house, but she was terrified. That's what I'm getting. If this person walked away from you or you walked away from them, it wasn't easy. It's a tiptoe, I'm gonna look. Tiptoe, I'm gonna look. Starting to understand. So someone here is wanting to open up. There could be something here that they got very stuck on. It could be something that they found as a truth. What is this? What is this truth that this person got stuck on? An Eight of Cups. Again, a separation energy. So you could have walked away from this person. If you felt that this person was stuck or stagnant or, or like a stalemate, if you felt this was someone who was not gonna take any, it, you're not gonna take it anywhere. What's, what's the point? I feel like I'm wasting my time. I feel like I'm wasting my energy. This is someone you felt you were wasting time and energy with. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Someone decided to go through a different door. I, I, want, I want something different. And if you wanna come in different, awesome, perfect, hit me up. If you don't, awesome, perfect, don't. But this person is scared that now that they wanna come in, that you're in something new. Are you? You could actually have a choice between two. That could be for some of you. You could have a choice between two. You walking away if you did was justice. 
it was meant for you to walk away from this person, for you not to allow them to keep you stuck or hanging around. Imagine that you call for an Uber and they say, I'm gonna be there in five minutes. It's 45 minutes later. At what point are we gonna get up and walk away? You don't need to wait on anyone. If they're meant to be in your life, they will come back. They will make it known. There is some sense of success, victory, and recognition taking place because of action that was taken. So if you want this person back, you can do it. This person could be feeling a lot of things for you because of how you showed up to them. That could be something that they're not gonna necessarily tell you, but the way that you showed up to them, you really, again, showed them love. Love without the fear of being bitten. Love without the fear of being dragged around. Again, me with a stray dog earlier. I tried to pick her up. She could have bit me. She could have kicked me. She could have done anything. I had no fear. That's what I'm getting here. It's like you love without fear. And it could have opened this person up to feel things that they never felt before. And it could also have them wanting to move something forward in a way that they didn't expect or they once didn't want to. If they see you as the end all be all, you're something that they can't let go of. Because I am seeing the four of pentacles and the empress. So that's holding close to the chest around something that you want to grow and maybe even who you want to grow with. So... This person is going to either approach or have a conversation with you here in the near future consisting of them wearing their heart on their sleeve. I want you to know how I feel. I want you to know how I feel with no regrets, so much so that if you hurt my feelings, I'm strong enough to be able to handle it. It's okay. It's going to be fine. That's this person's energy. Okay, we're going to leave this here because that was beautiful. Have a blessed day, guys.